Hello and welcome to episode 13 of Building My First Model Railway. Um, I'm Mark and this is my YouTube channel, Chapel Station. Um, hopefully you're seeing from the intro that this week is slightly different uh, to in previous videos. Maybe even the mug is a bit of a giveaway. Um, but uh, I'll get on to that in a minute. Uh, first, I just want to say a big thank you to um, everyone who's viewed my videos and who's subscribed recently. YouTube has been doing its thing and obviously uh, uh, lots more people seem to be coming across my channel. Um, and I've had uh, over 3,000 views on, on some of my episodes and now I have nearly 200 subscribers, which is just mind blowing really. I only started three months ago and uh, so thank you. It's really encouraging, sort of encourages me to try and make better videos uh, for you to watch. So, uh, so welcome and thank you. So yeah, this episode is slightly different because this week I haven't had much time to do um, any modelling on my railway because I've been back to the UK. I actually live in Jersey in the Channel Islands, which uh, is a beautiful place to live. The only negative about Jersey is it hasn't got any railways whatsoever. In fact, the only railway it's got is uh, hopefully this little photo in this corner, you'll see the Petty Tram, which obviously isn't a real railway, it's just a, a road train. Um, so whenever I do go back to the UK on, on pleasure or business, I do try and get onto the trains to get some inspiration. Um, and this time I went back to visit family in Essex, so it gave me the opportunity to actually visit Chapel Station, the real one. Haven't been there since I actually started modelling Chapel Station, so it was really good to be able to go, have a good look around, take lots of photos and videos and, and sort of get lots of inspiration so I can actually improve what I've already done. Um, like I say, I took the video camera with me, so I've uh, put a little video together so you can see what is my inspiration for this layout. Um, and hopefully that'll help you if you're designing your own layout. I, I think it's really useful uh, to have um, a focus on a place for uh, some inspiration, not to try and make it exactly prototypical because I think that's quite challenging, especially if your layout doesn't lend itself to it. But to have something that you can, a starting point that you can reference back to, to go to see how's that laid out, how's that put, what does that look like? I found really useful just in developing Chapel Station. Otherwise, you know, unless you've really got really good vivid imagination, um, then starting from scratch with nothing can be quite a challenge. So, so I found it useful having somewhere just as a, a focal point. Um, and you know, it's a, it's, it's a bit of fun making and modeling a, a place that's dear to your heart like Chapel is uh, to mine. Um, so yeah, so hopefully you'll enjoy this video. You'll see a bit of more of the N7 in the video, which uh, you saw at the introduction, uh, which uh, I have got the mug off. Um, but uh, it's looking a bit sad and you'll see that in the video, but hopefully uh, it will be running again one day. Um, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, next video I'm going to make, hopefully I have lots of developments on the, on the railway itself because I've got lots of modelling plans for this week uh, and I'll video those as I go along. So certainly my next video will be back to normal. But um, this one, slightly different, but uh, I thought it'd be useful for you for you to see. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and uh, I'll see you again soon.
And you got you're just doing this section all the way down. Uh, Where's it getting to? Doing just it a... in stages because there are other sections that we knew we know uh, are wanting down there. 